I'm Jonathan Weinberg and this is a quick review of the Amazon Basic Fountain Pen. Um, uh, in early August I was intrigued because I heard that it was so cheap. It was only at that time $7.95 and I wanted to see, you know, is it really that great? And um, uh, and it's not it's not that bad but guess what lately the price has gone up to around seventeen dollars on amazon and for around that price you can get a pilot metropolitan so i thought i'd just do a quick review comparing um those pens and uh and here here you have the amazon basic and here you have the uh, Pilot Metropolitan. You can see that they're almost exactly the same size and they're very, very similar in terms of the clip. Um, now keep in mind that the Metropolitan that I have, which is one of my first fountain pens, has uh, a simple black, black um, uh, middle. Um, you can get them, I think they call them retros, and they have all kinds of different designs in the middle, and I think that looks kind of tacky, but it looks really good this way. Um, it's famous for having this really nice quick click to the way it comes together, and it's very elegantly designed, and people people love it. So I guess when they decided to do the Amazon Basic, that's what they were looking at. And it, and it could make sense if it's $7, but I don't think it really makes sense if it's $17. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll just, um, I'm gonna go through um, some writing samples and then do some doodling with it. And uh, we'll look at the uh, differences and similarities. So if we look at the Metropolitan version, it has this little shiny part in the middle, and um, sorry, and um, this is the Amazon Basic version. And you can see the clips are very close. The um, Metropolitan, pretty tight clip. This is a somewhat looser clip on the Amazon Basic. Actually, I think that's nicer. The one thing. I don't know. I don't like the fact that it says Amazon Basic on it. I suppose they're very proud of it. The Pilot is very simple. It doesn't even say Pilot on it. But anyway, they're very close. Um, you, I'm elsewhere, you can look up the weight. Um, you can see on the Amazon Basic they have this little bit shiny metal part that's actually kind of nice. It's a, it's a quite elegant looking pen, you know, and who's going to notice it says Amazon Basic on it? All right. And here's the big question, how does it write? So I will try that out and do a little bit too, I think. So here is the Amazon Basic. It is a here. Medium nib. Uh, it comes with two uh, cartridges that are, I believe, international standard size. But they're strange, a little bit strange, in that they're very hard. Um, like when you try to squeeze them they they don't really squeeze but i believe it will take a international style and these are obviously black um let's see you can see that there's absolutely no line variation um It's not the smoothest nib, but it also isn't the scratchiest nib. Hmm. 
Okay. So here's the Metropolitan. Again, the pilot cartridge. Now, immediately, I am noticing that this is a bit smoother. Still a little bit scratchy. Both, I would say the pilot medium is a little thinner than the Amazon basic medium. But both actually have a bit of feedback. I have to admit, the Pilot Metropolitan is not my favorite pen, although I think so it wasn't my first fountain pen, but when I started going back to using fountain pens when I was much older, it was probably my first fountain pen or one of my first. And one thing that is really good about the Pilot is that you can cap it and for months and months it will stay wet. You open it up again and it's still right. So that's, that's something that's phenomenal about Pilot pens in general, I would say. Okay, here we go. A quick brown fox. Dog. Okay. I would say in direct competition, this is a better writing experience. But it's not that much better. And in many ways, it's very similar. And here's one other possible thing to compare it to for a pen with the same nib is um, the Kakuna Pilot. Now this is this kind of student pen, that's the idea of it, and it's meant to particularly appeal to younger people. This is the demonstrator version. And you can get this one for around eleven dollars. I think it's pretty cool. I mean it's it's very light, very inexpensive pen. But um, I believe, it's not something that I tend to do, but I believe you can eyedrop this pen. Um, I, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to, so that's another advantage of it. And I like the design of it. And you're getting the same nib that you get in the Metropolitan. So let me try that one. Wait, I have to, how do you spell this thing? It is spelled, I can look at the cap. Kakuno. Uh, again, it's a cartridge, part um, black pilot. Black. And no surprise, it writes a lot. I would say this is actually a little bit scratchier, but that's because probably it's it's a much newer pen. I haven't used it as much. This pen, you really have to post it, because it is so light, and I find it's not round. It has a kind of faceted quality. I find it a bit uncomfortable to write with. Um, The nib is quite nice. I mean, also for eleven dollars, it's cool. All right, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog.
so aesthetically, when it just comes to aesthetically, I think this is a cooler pen, particularly if you did eyedropper it, because that would be pretty beautiful with all the colors. But even so, even with the cartridge, or if you buy a converter, which I'm sure it would work with, um, it's kind of pretty. I always I love demonstrator pens. So might go for this for aesthetics, although in terms of comfort, this is the least comfortable. I would say that the nib is a little better than the Amazon Basic, but all three don't have the smoothest nibs. Okay. Let's just draw them a little bit. So here's the Amazon Basic. And I would say it's fine, it's a bit scratchy. I've been finding that I'm not enjoying the way the section is, the way this is seems a bit uncomfortable to me. writing. That's kind of impressive. So there's not any line variation at all in the pen, but it is doing a good job of reverse writing. That's quite good. Let me go to the Metropolitan. So I have to immediately check to see which one's which. They're so close. You know, it doesn't seem like that when you're. Um, comparing them next to each other, but if they're on your desk and you're not paying careful attention, they're that close. Now, I can say immediately that, for me at least, the Pilot Metropolitan is more comfortable in my hand. It just feels better. Also, it doesn't have much or any line variation. 
And I think you can see it's very reliable. Interestingly enough, it's not reverse writing as well as the Amazon Basic. But I have to say, I don't use pen, you know, in reverse. I don't know who does, but... For those who are paying attention, this is drawn in my Strathmore sketchbook, which is um, 400 Strathmore paper. Then, bonus of the Kakuno, if that's how you pronounce it, supposed to pronounce it, I don't know. I forgot to post it. And it doesn't really reverse right very well, but the nib is very close to the Metropolitan nib. Very reliable, but not the greatest writing experience in terms of the way the pen feels in my hand. Now, it might be good because it's so light for somebody who, like, is 12 years old. Final verdict, I would say, is the Amazon Basic for $7.95. It's pretty good, you know. looks looks okay. I like the way it snaps to place, but I don't know. If you can come up with uh, another $10, I would go with the Metropolitan um, or a few dollars more. I actually think this is a cooler pen, so that's a better choice. And then. Um, you know, an even better choice is the um, Jinhao X159, which is a kind of, I don't know, it really isn't, but it's supposed to be a kind of clone of the Mont Blanc, uh, you know, $800 pen, uh, the 149. But I've been um, using that pen for a while, and I'm really amazed. I mean, it's a big pen, but it is really comfortable. And the nib that I had uh, recently gotten was really much better than any of these uh, nibs. So I might go with a Chinese pen if you don't have a lot of money. Um, and uh, so that's another possible choice. I mean, it's amazing how many uh, possibilities there are in that price range. So that's it. Thank you.